This is the video review for Transformers Dark of the Moon Voyager Class Megatron, who is, after 25 years, 26, 27, something like that, he's finally a truck. I've waited a long time to see what Megatron would look like if he were a truck. And finally, it took Michael Bay, alongside Hasbro, to make Megatron a dream come true. A truck for his vehicle mode, which I have to admit is a nice pick. A military vehicle, a Mack truck. Just awesome. All the detail that went into this thing for a Voyager class figure too, man. I mean, really, this uh, is very, very impressive and really cool looking as well. I do finally understand exactly what's going on here with the windshield. This side, notice how flat it is, and this side right here is sticking out a little bit more. Um, it was on the CGI rendering of the truck mode itself on the package, and a few um, images of the actual Mack truck itself online. So, yeah, I thought at first, like, maybe I had, like, a messed up figure with his windshield sticking out a bit too far on, like, the other side. But, no, it turns out that this is officially what the windshield looks like for every Megatron figure. So, yeah, it's kind of an eyesore to me, but if it's official, it's official. There's nothing I can do about it. It's still pretty cool, in a way. So... Yes, this is an amazing vehicle mode for Megatron. It's lacking a little bit of paint, you know, being the fact that there's no tail light paint. Um, there's uh, the color scheme. I don't understand exactly what's going on here. This isn't exactly the color that I was expecting the truck to be. After all, this isn't the exact color that was on the package either, as you saw in the beginning of this video. But still, it's an amazing design. All the detail that went into this Voyager figure. And for some quick size comparisons, here he is with Battle Blade Optimus Prime from the Hunt for the Decepticon toy line last year. And he's still pretty, pretty small for a Voyager figure. No doubt that if I was to compare Megatron with Optimus Prime from the Dark of the Moon line, it would still be Optimus Prime towering over this vehicle mode for one reason only, scale-wise. That's why. Remember, the Voyagers, the Leaders, and the Deluxe figures for Dark of the Moon have been scaled down just because Hasbro decided to this year. But still, remember, if you saw my review for Optimus Prime for the Dark of the Moon Voyager class figure, I compared him with Battle Blade Optimus Prime, so there really was no difference in scale. So if I was to compare him with Megatron, he would still be about this size. Which is kind of sad, but you know what? It really doesn't matter anymore. I mean, really. Size comparisons, does it really matter? A size continuity? Doesn't matter. It does not. So, okay. Um... This is all the vehicle mode really does, actually. It just rolls. And believe it or not, all ten wheels actually do roll. From this side to this side. Very nice, Hasbro. Very nice. Also, unlike Optimus Prime, Megatron has the ability to turn 
with the trailer still going straight, which is very nice, very accurate. It looks so realistic now when the truck's turning. So that's kind of cool. Also to this side as well. Also the mech tech weapon, if you haven't guessed, does not get in the way of the trailer actually, well, you know, the cab itself turning, which is very, very cool. I like that. Very impressive, Hasbro. My only complaint, my only complaint about this vehicle mode would perhaps be not the truck itself, not the trailer, the cloak. This thing, pretty much Megatron's cape and, you know, just the cover for the mech tech weapon in vehicle mode. It doesn't attach to anything. It just sits there like that. That's it. There's no pegs. There's no holes. I've checked all over the place. I even looked on the instruction manual over a few times. So... That's the way it is, which is kind of sad, too, because, I mean, you're going to lose it sooner or later. So I'll just go ahead and take it off and show you the mech tech weapon. Just pop it out like so, and this is it. Megatron's cannon, which also converts into his uh, uh, fusion cannon. That's right. So, yes, his blaster converts into his fusion cannon with a simple push of the ladder. Like so. And you know what? I know they say that it's supposed to be the fusion cannon when it's like this, but come on. I mean, they don't even attach. That's really disappointing because now it looks like actually just a claw. A claw weapon because it's even got teeth to it. So, yeah, I mean, you can rip off Optimus Prime's head if you want, but other than that, I mean, it, it's not really... It doesn't look like a fusion cannon. It just looks like a claw weapon. But when you convert it back, this looks like a fusion cannon. So, overall, this vehicle mode is pretty impressive. I really do like it. But let's see how it fares against its robot mode counterpart. Now we're back. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little look in the past, back at 2007 Voyager Megatron, which was pretty... Well, let's just say he gave you the cold shoulder. Ha ha ha. Anyway, here's Voyager Megatron of Dark of the Moon in his complete robot mode. What can I say? If this is exactly what he looks like in the movie, I think I'm going to be very thrilled. He looks pretty interesting. Why piping? I didn't really have to show that up close because if you actually think about it and if you're looking at this, the light piping's actually giving off pretty good with that light that's above Megatron. So yeah, he's got some pretty good light piping for a Voyager figure, unlike Optimus Prime here, for another size comparisons anyway. He's got those purple eyes, so really the light piping's not coming out that well. LIGHT PIPING! Starscream on the other hand, no. He doesn't have any light piping, but there's a size comparison between him and Starscream. So there's all the size but comparisons. he does suffer at a few places. First of all, let's go ahead and get this out of the way so I don't have to do this later on. Alright, here's his little Boba Fett wannabe cape thing. Um, it really doesn't peg in that well, or, you know, it doesn't really tab in that well, so that's as best as I can do, but it really does block his face, literally. It blocks the entire face. Yeah, it's not really necessary. But this, now this is his mech tech weapon, his cannon, his fusion cannon, simply put, you know, just like so. Okay, there's a... Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, bring out the handle. Can't do it without the handle. So there's the hole right there. You can peg it on either side of his arm, but everybody knows that Megatron's fusion cannon is always on his right arm. Why piping? Um, there is a bit of a disappointment with this. Uh, Megatron, when you've got him in robot mode, his storage, he doesn't really have it, one for his fusion cannon, besides his arms. Um... You cannot actually put the mech tech weapon back, so that's kind of a shame. It's just the way that this port is actually designed. But still, 
overall, he's uh, pretty good. Very incredible. I like the way this figure actually came out. And I'm going to put back on his fusion cannon one more time. It's very, very nice. But like I said, this figure does suffer. And I'll go ahead and show you. Besides his little cape, it's also his articulation. So let's get through it, shall we? Okay, so pretty much his head's on a ball joint. It'll go around full 360. It'll go up and down and all that kind of stuff. Okay, arms... They can go around a full 360, but due to his shoulder bits, which do peg out a lot, they just tap them in like so, they can get caught. They can get caught. A his lot. His bicep is articulated as well. Elbows, they're articulated. Not much, though. And his wrists, they fold in and out, but that's due to transformation. And that's Megatron it. Megatron suffers by the shoulder. See, they uh, go in and out like that. That's the only way. Like, he's always shrugging his shoulder. No waist articulation, but at the top of his chest, yes, it does have articulation, so that makes up for that. Um, his legs, they're pretty much on uh, ratcheting joints. They go up, they go back pretty far, they go in and out. But just the way that they're actually double jointed due to transformation reasons, sometimes they can get a little annoying. Okay, so his knees, they've been pretty good. Um, they also swivel, which is nice. And his feet pivot up and down. And clearly, that is all the uh, articulation this figure actually uh, has. My Megatron has kind of a loose leg right here. So when he's holding his fusion cannon and I try to put him in a special pose... He's always, always falling as down. As I can get to him actually holding his fusion cannon. Like so. Oh, there we go. That's actually not bad. Uh, one, more, one more look at him and Optimus Prime together. Both holding their mech tech weapons, which is kind of cool. His ion blaster, his fusion cannon. So, yes, he's, an, he's okay. He's a nice figure. Um, bit of problem though. I mean really just because of the way that Hasbro is cheaping out on paint this year for the Transformer figures really it makes him suffer a bit more because they really couldn't make this like a silver color rather than just this dull gray light gray paint or you know plastic that's kind of a shame he's got some silver on his legs kind of like uh, Revenge of the Fallen RC just not crap. Um, do I recommend this figure? You know, actually, I'm going to give him a 3 out of 5. That's the best as I can do. 3 out of 5. Um, this figure does suffer a bit through articulation and paint and sometimes actually quality if you're not careful with what figures you actually select. Um, but overall, he's actually kind of cool. He's kind of fun, and if you can get him in some good poses, he's not that bad, really. And for uh, playability, transformation is pretty easy, so there should be no problems for those of the hardcore stop-motion creators. So, there you go, guys. You wanted my opinion? There's my opinion. Now, should you go and buy him? That's totally up to you. So there you go, guys. That is the end review for Transformers Dark in the Moon Voyager Class Megatron. If you actually enjoyed this video, and hopefully you did, I hope you'll rate, comment, subscribe to Redis Power Videos on YouTube. And until the next video review, guys, which might actually be a good one for some of you, because I've been going through, actually, to be honest, I've been going from the least best to the greatest out of this whole Deception Week. So, who could possibly be better than Megatron? You'll just have to wait and see. And until next time, guys, this is Redis Power Slash Sonic Ranger signing out. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Well, hopefully I will. Why piping?